This video demonstrates how to use the Dr. Preload 900 series bearing adjustment tool with the standard vehicle drive axle, also commonly referred to as the R-Drive axle. Dr. Preload quickly and accurately removes all end play from wheel bearings and sets them to an exact light preload setting specified by the vehicle engineers in 2001 at SAE International. For full process documentation and diagrams, please reference technical publication TP-10120. The Dr. Preload R-Drive 900 series tool has two special features, the circular key finder and nut turner. Both will come in handy during the bearing adjustment process. There is a key on the key finder designated by the letter R and a hash mark that is used to locate the keyway on the spindle end. The nut turner engages the temper lock nut at the end of the bearing adjustment process and sets the lock nut to hold the bearing setting in place. To mount the tool, line up the hash mark on the key finder with the keyway. The tool is then threaded on the spindle by twisting the star handle. Once the tool is mounted, the T handle is rotated clockwise until the gauge reaches the green roll-in zone. To seat the bearing rollers, spin the hub at least three full turns in any one direction. Next, set the bearings to the exact accurate light preload setting noted on the gauge. The nut turner moves up and down the shaft of the tool and is used to lock in and interact with the temper lock nut. Once the nut turner is engaged and forward, the nut is tightened up against the bearing. Check to make sure that the hash marks in the view window are lined up with the hash marks on the nut turner. If they are not, rotate slightly counterclockwise until alignment is achieved. To remove Dr. Preload, turn the T-handle counterclockwise until the load on the gauge reaches zero. Next, rotate the star handle counterclockwise to unthread the tool from the spindle and pull straight back with the load arms over the flats of the nut. To hold the bearing setting in place, install the Easy View center tab of the retainer ring while engaging the key in the keyway. Then, install the other two EasyView tabs. Always make sure to inspect the final assembly, ensuring all three EasyView tabs and locking teeth are fully seated in the nuts.